All right, so I'm in the process of uh, getting these spark plug wires done up. I already did one of them. Basically what you do is you take the end of one of these wires, you put it in one of these things here. You have to fold the wire back and then put it on the metal clip there. And then MSD provided a uh, tool here that you put into your vise. You put that in there, sandwich the uh, the wire in between and then press it together and it uh, crimps the wire for you so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wire up one of these so you can kind of see the process of making the spark plugs. So I got the uh, spark plug wire here all did up. You kind of saw the whole process. One point that I forgot uh, is you should put the boot on first because it makes it impossible to get on with the thing on there. So I had to take it off and put a new one on. Um, but it, this is all ready to go. Um, just a 90 degree T or 90 degree uh, boot on it and it clicks right in. So that's how you do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. We only have six, so we have a lot of extra parts. So uh, if I have any mess ups, it'll be easy to fix. So, uh, Vince and Austin are going to head home now. Vince is going to take the adapter here and get it all cleaned up because it's, uh, I mean, the, the welds are awesome, but it, there's a lot of slag everywhere and just needs to be cleaned up. But yep. okay. I'm really, really well, glad we decided to yeah. make all this kind of flush with the outside material and polish it so it flows a little better. Yep. Otherwise, uh, it was a great op idea to bring Austin along because he is uh, for he's actually trained in welding, so... He's uh, very good at it. He taught me some some stuff. Let me go show you some of my welds. So even just like show them the before and after. Just 20 minutes of welding it's with him. Hot. You might want to flip it with yeah, I was looking for something. So my very first welds are pretty much on this right here. You can see how cruddy they are. My best ones were on this right here. Still really bad. You can see some of that stuff, and it was just mangled and not great. I had the settings wrong. Definitely had the settings wrong and. Uh, after some training, some just him telling me what to do and stuff, like pretty good, like little tiny beads, like pretty good for a beginner. And this was just a test piece that he did on here. I tried doing a little bit, still have some trouble uh, pulling up the weld and then getting on there. It's different thickness metals and still need to, you know, work on it myself a little bit better. But I mean, welds are looking pretty good just for beginning too. So um, yeah, just having a quality welder is a good asset. So. They're going to go ahead and head out, and uh, Tris and I are going to continue working on the Camaro here. See you later, guys. See you. All right, so uh, we were looking through the methanol kit that we got, and we actually found uh, more hardline, and uh, so we didn't need to buy any new stuff, so we're just gonna use that. We have this piece that goes in it's between. A filter. Yeah, filter that goes in between. So uh, we'll have that short line go into there, and then we have the rest of the line that can go to the uh, actual injector and intake. So. And right now, I'm just basically looking up the wiring diagram and reading up more about the meth kit, and just seeing where everything goes. I know where everything goes now. So, just getting an idea of what I'm going to have to wire. I'm probably going to put this in the glove box. Fence was giving me a good idea. Because I don't want to put it in the glove box. Oh, no, sorry. The uh, the center console box. Because I think that's a good place for it. So, I can actually mess with it if I need to. Yeah, just That'll adjust things. Good. And then he also found the LED status light that will tell him if it's working. So, you don't yes. blow your motor by accident. Which happened to the old owner. Yeah, I wanted to tell you about, like, the... It's called the boost. Not, not, that, it, not that it failed and that it just he was definitely running it too hot Th this did not fail for his for his car 
just wasn't enough for his car. Yeah, I think he blew it up. It was a 2JZ. Oh, it was a 2JZ, that's right. Yeah, so he blew oh, up a Oh, that's a really JZ. expensive motor to blow up, too. Yeah. So uh, we're going to take a look at this meth kit, probably get some things routed right now, and then I'm also going to finish up with the spark plug wires there, and uh, we'll give you an update once we're done. We're getting pretty close to being done today. So I got all the uh, spark plug wires all uh, wired up and fixed, so these are ready to go. So uh, this kit was basically for a V8, so it came with eight. Uh, each two uh, were different lengths, so they had two that were like five feet, two that were like four feet, two that were three feet, and then two that were like two and a half feet. And uh, we just didn't use the shortest ones, we used all the longest ones we could. So the short banks can use the three foot ones, and the ones that are farthest on the other side are going to be five. Um, so this should all fit, and we're going to be relocating this uh, coil pack to somewhere else in the engine so it doesn't have to be in the wave where intake's going to be. Uh, so we got that all finished up. Um, Tristan is currently wiring up the methanol kit. He basically is just going to run it along down here. And then he did cut a hole in the engine bay right down there uh, that he's going to feed it through. That goes basically right to the driver's foot well. And uh, he's going to pipe it through there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, continue working on that now. So uh, Tristan's heating up this piece of metal. I don't know why he's holding it. You could just put it in the vise. Well, I didn't want to heat the vise up too. Oh, I don't think you would have. If you just ha had it higher. Well, the Anyways. thing is, is I'm going to put it right on that mark and bend it. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so he's bending this for the battery bracket. Um, he's measured it out. Now he's just heating it up. And uh, Now I'm going to have to eyeball it because the Sharpie burned off. Yeah. So he's just heating it up so it's easier to bend on the vise. Uh, what I've done so far is I've taken that same blank and cut it so we can make an EGR block off. So you can see right here, just made a simple EGR block off, put some RTV behind it, torqued it down, and it's definitely not going to leak. Uh, we have to do the same on the exhaust right there, that little nub. Uh, so I have the other piece, and I'm going to go ahead and drill it and place it on there. All right, uh, it's getting pretty dark out here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pretty much just finish up what we're doing. I was able to get these uh, fuel line uh, dash six adapters and I think the other ones uh, No, I don't don't quote me on what size these are. I forget what they are. Basically, it's three eighths and five sixteenths and then uh, we have the EGR delete plate on right there as well as the front nub over there Tristan just got this uh, Where is it? Oh here. He got this um, L thing fabricated basically it's gonna be sitting up like that for the this is for the methanol kit yeah. so it's gonna self tap in there and just hold it up so we're not using that bungee cord and looking all ghetto so we're gonna go ahead and put that in and uh, finish off the video keep going Cool. Now we just need a. It's bolt. kind of lopsided. Oh, let's be fine. Once you bolt it down, it'll keep it good. Okay. That should be. Should be good. Let's go get a bolt and try it. Let's go get the bolt. All right, we got the bolts that we bought. Some washers. Just more surface area. We don't have our. Uh, well, we need to tighten it down fully. I mean, we could run and grab our tools, but just for now, it's gonna Honest? be fine. Yeah. Honestly, it can. It can probably stay finger tight. Don't want to crush the plastic. That's another much one better than what it was. Yeah, I mean another one would be nice. It wouldn't hurt for sure. But uh, for now, I mean we could probably just address that tomorrow. We are done for today. But uh, yeah, that's a lot better than a bungee cord. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean it's got two self tappers at the bottom what and at you know three points of contact. With a gallon of water sloshing around, I think that this should be pretty fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. As they say, that's not going anywhere. True. Okay, we can end it for the day. Yeah, so um, we pretty, I mean, Tristan ran the uh, methanol lines a little bit. I mean, it's all the way into the engine bay. Yeah. So uh, we still need to clean it up and all, but. Um, this methanol kit's getting pretty close to being done. Plus, we do the, have to wire it. Yeah, so. the wiring isn't done. I, we decided that like we're gonna put the center console in before we wire it up because that's where it's gonna go into. And so, it just kind of it makes sense where all the wires are gonna end up there to not run them until then. 
So I think we're gonna focus on like the battery box uh, next or or soon so that we can start wiring stuff up and then uh, We need the transmission in to get the center console in so yeah, uh, that's what we'll do and at then some point. yeah So next week we'll probably focus on uh, I mean we're still waiting on the clutch and uh, some other things and once we have that we can put the uh, Transmission on the engine and stuff and we can start test fitting so um, we're gonna go ahead and it off today uh, thanks for watching.